RNA splicing is one of the most essential biological functions. After the process of transcription, in which DNA is tra transcribed to RNA, in order for us to create something called messenger RNA, which is RNA that leaves the nucleus and travels around the genome, we need to basically do this process of splicing. The essential role of RNA splicing is to basically remove all the introns or non-coding regions out of the gene. So what this means is that we only want to keep the exons which actually code for proteins. Any of the parts of our gene which, co which don't code for proteins are cut. So the way this is done is we use something called a spliceosome. The spliceosome is this kind of cutting machine that comprises of many different small nuclear riboproteins which assemble together to form the spliceosome. The process of RNA splicing begins when at first we go towards one end of the intron to exon border. This part is usually called the acceptor site. And what this means is we basically splice the intron and disconnect it from the exon. Then what we do is we take that, that part of the intron and fold it back on itself, forming a loop. Once it forms a loop, the spliceosome moves to the other end, the RNA, the other end of the intron. And once it moves to the other end of the intron, it cuts off the other part of the loop, therefore separating the intron from the two parts of the exon. After that, the two parts of the exon are joined together and this process is done for every single intron in the gene until we get messenger RNA, which is comprised only of coding regions which code for proteins. There's a serious problem that occurs at this process as a result of mutations though. Different mutations in our genome can cause different splicing patterns. Often, the site where the acceptor and the donor site occur can change depending on different genetic variants. And a lot of these different genetic variants can cause serious disease-causing mutations. Because when we have different mutations, different splice sites are chosen by the spliceosome, which essentially allows us to create different proteins. These proteins may not serve the same function that they were supposed to serve. And this is a major cause for different diseases such as epilepsy, retinitis pigmentosa, and even rare genetic disorders such as Hutchinson's Guilford progeria. So what the team at Deep Genomics did is they created a splicing code, which is a computational model to assess the different strength of every single splice site in a gene. And by inputting different, a gene with a genetic mutation, what they were able to do is find different targets for disease-causing mutations. I hope you learned a little bit about RNA splicing today and how important it is for, into our body. Thank you.